I have not done a game room tour video in a while, so I thought today would be a good day to do so. This is what the room looks like when you first walk in. Lots of video games, obviously. Um, let's start with this wall. This is an actual piece of the makeup worn by Robert England, who played Freddy Krueger on the final movie of Freddy vs. Jason. He kept pieces of the skin or mask and put them up for sale. So I actually have a piece of Freddy's skin. Just random stuff here. Original Master of the Universe pop, Funko Pop figures. NECA toys. These are all signed by actors or, yeah, mostly the actors of the movies, such as Jason's. Freddy Krueger. I thought I had Freddy sign this one. I guess not. Hmm. Let's see. Terminator. 8 bit Jason. Contra. Super Shredder. A rare Freddy Krueger figure signed by Robert England. I mean, I was big in the Power Rangers, so I got a lot of Power Ranger toys up here, too. A lot of these are signed by the original actors. My Little Pony Ghostbusters, because why not? Ecto-1 signed by Ernie Hudson, who played Winston. Let's see. A few Zelda collectibles. A pre-order bonus for when you pre-ordered Zelda at Target. You got little free figures and a coupon, which is still in there. More Funko Pops. Ninja Turtle collector sets. My son David made me the Nintendo Lego system a few years ago. He even built it for me. Some box games. Down here are my complete in box Pokemon games, the original. Ones from Game Boy and Game Boy Advance, including a few Japanese Pokemon box, which is probably the holy grail of all video game Pokemon games, which I have complete in box as well. Just some more random complete in box games. This is my Zelda wall collection. All these Zelda games are either complete in box or some are still brand new factory sealed. I even have some Japanese import ones. Including the rare Nintendo DS preview trailer for Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. Only 200 of, them, 200 of them were made, and they were given out to select people at E3, whatever year it was. Japanese copies of the originals. Rare Japanese Zelda type games from Japan featuring Tingo. The legendary CDI games. All the figures. Over here is the start of the video game collection. Up top are my Legend of Zelda Amiibo collection. We have almost just about all of them. 
Here we have Nintendo Switch, Nintendo DS, and my little import section from games from different countries, such as Zelda from the European version, Famicom games, Super Famicom, which was Super Nintendo in Japan, Japan N64 games, Nintendo 64 DD games. Skyward Sword Japan version. Over here is my Wii collection. And Wii U. And Nintendo 3DS. Over here are my complete in box Castlevania collection. I am missing only two Castlevania collection or two games: Dracula X for Super Nintendo and Castlevania Legends for Game Boy. Those are very expensive right now, so that's why I don't have them. Is like a Saturn Japanese copy of Symphony of the Night, Dracula X for PC Engine from Japan. More collectibles I have. Complete box Nintendo, Game Boy. On the bottom down there, I got my 3DO games and my CDI games. I used to have a lot of games on these shelves, but I recently installed this whole bookcase right here and moved everything onto here. So right now I'm just putting random stuff in there to fill up space. Up here are just more complete in box games, all the Mortal Kombat's. First few original issues of Nintendo Power in very good condition. The Japanese versions of the Super Mario Party series and Paper Mario, which in Japan is called Mario Story. Some 3DS systems that are still brand new. This is my Xbox collection. And Xbox 360. My picture of Vigo from Ghostbusters 2. My chair I sit in when I just want to get away from everyone and just chill out in here. My cat likes to sleep in here too. Say hi, Sparkles. Sparkles. Hi. <laughs> anyway, back over here. Just more random goodies. That's probably my most expensive Funko Pop I have. Up here we continue the 360 and Xbox One collection. Nintendo GameCube. And Zega Genesis and 32X. Some more Funko Pops I have up here. They serve as like a bookend to make sure these games on the side don't fall down. My Nintendo game collection. Super Nintendo. Nintendo 64. And Sega Dreamcast on the bottom. Under the shelves, I have my Atari 2600 collection. Over here, I have more just random amiibos to put on the top of the shelves until I find something else to put up here. 
my PlayStation 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 collection. And PSP and my one lonely PlayStation Vita game. Below that, my Zega CD collection. My Jaguar game and my TurboGrafx-16 games. Sega Master System games and Sega Saturn games. Autographed picture of Robert England from when he was taking off the makeup. I met Kevin Eastman one of the creators of the Ninja Turtles, and he drew me this picture of the Shredder, which was really cool. In my closet here, is where I keep miscellaneous stuff, extra boxes for uh, game system stuff, so like Wii, game, Wii U games, Xbox games. My book of manuals and amiibos. Down here in these drawers are just extra accessories for all the games. These envelopes are have the plastic protectors for the complete box games. So my handheld collection, Game Boy Advance, Game Gear, Systems, and Game Boy, Game Boy Color. Japanese import games. Ninja Turtle games, complete box. Friday the 13th and Nightmare on Elm Street, signed by Kane Hodder, who played Jason in parts 7, 8, 9, and 10. Robert England, who's obviously Freddy. My Super Mario Brothers. Import collection, so Mario 1, 2, 3, Mario World, Game Boy games. I call this my little Mario wall. All of the games are complete in box. This is my Sonic section. An actual, what do you call them? Cell from the Sonic the Hedgehog cartoon from the early 90s. Some more random figures. A replica of the Rep Master Sword from Zelda. More complete box games I have hung on the wall. Replicas of the Freddy gloves and from certain movies. So this one's from part one, part three, four, and five. I had Robert England sign each one of them and have like a phrase from the movie. So Bon Appetit, bitch. Um, sweet dreams are made of this. Welcome to primetime, bitch. And this is God. They're actual real blades and everything. So they can be deadly. Memorial Wall again. Original Super Mario clock back from the 80s. That doesn't work anymore, unfortunately. And that's pretty much it. A lot of rare games are in here, such as, I don't know, DuckTales 2. That's a rare one. Chippendale Rescue Rangers. I mentioned that because I just saw the movie yesterday. It was really cool. Um, so, yeah. My view outside on this rainy, crappy day. Random plush. Rob the robot. 
I believe he works, but I don't have a TV that I can try him on. I do have all the accessories for him. I need one of those old tube TVs. Signed baseball from when I was a baseball coach last year for my son's team. So I hope you enjoyed your personal tour of the game room, collectible room. And I'll talk to you all later.